Really hope those kids don't come around again. They're nuisances. Ah! Damn kids! Wait, is there another one? Ah! It's probably no secret at this point that I read a lot of comments on my YouTube channel. And it's not because I enjoy people telling me that the arm I recently broke is looking small and that I need to get back in the gym. Don't you think I know that? I see my arm every day. My doctor just said I can't go to the gym for another two weeks. I read these comments because sometimes you guys give me some genuinely good ideas, such as testing out a barbed wire whip. Now I have probably tested out more self-defense tools than anyone in existence, so I thought this idea was genius. Because whips hurt and barbed wire hurt, so if you combine the two, Surely, it would create an extremely effective self-defense tool. But there was one problem. When I went to buy one online, I could only find things meant for BDSM. And I've been saying for years I'm not a masochist. I'm a scientist. So that left us with only one option. Build one. And by build one, I mean my dad built it because I have zero handyman skills. But that is when it dawned on me. Maybe barbed wire whips don't exist because they are too lethal. Maybe we just created the most dangerous self-defense tool of all time. Or they're extremely impractical and completely useless. But hey, <laughs> that's what we're here to find out. So let's get to work and you guys can like and share the video, please. Do you think I look like uh, a male stripper in this get up? I think look, you look like a fisherman ready to not be hit by a hawk. What? <laughs> I'll be honest, I dressed like this uh, because I figure if anyone would be using a barbed wire whip for a self-defense tool, it would be construction workers, you know? They work with barbed wire. <laughs> Do they? I would imagine so, at least every once in a while. But that's not important, Jake, okay? What's important is showing everyone the barbed wire whips that my father constructed. We have one short one and one much longer one with a lot more barbs. I wonder what will happen. That is the question. Which whip is more effective? Well, that's what we're hoping to find out here. I put money on this one. You know, that would be a safe bet. Uh, really? Fine. I'll put money on this short one. All right. What's the money going in, fellas? Well, I'm hitting you, so it's a little biased. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he makes a good point. Fine. I'll hit you with the short one. <laughs> Ten dollars. Who can... <laughs> Cause more pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the deal's the deal. This is a good deal. Yeah, I like yeah, these deals. I like them. These are good. <laughs> these are good deals. Yeah, I, like, I see why you make deals. Deals are fun. Yeah. You ready for it? Just give me that. Yeah, come on. All right. All right. Ready? All right. <laughs> Wait a second. This is a terrible <laughs> idea. It was going to be going full blown powered hits right off the bat. That's what the people want to see. Yeah. Fine. The deal's been made. Good. But this is what's happening. One swing to finish this bet. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Why did we have to do that off the bat? <laughs> <laughs> off the bat! Ah! Ah! Salt again? <laughs> I got a <little> one. <laughs> oh! I think they're pretty destructive. Oh! Dang, I think he won. Or wait, no, that's mine. That is oh, yours! Fine. I helped out your side. <laughs> but look at he's got a lot of data forming on this whip here. Yeah. And now we look at your side and holy. <laughs> Technically, you hit on my legs. Yeah. So. Look at that though, that's you know, pretty awesome. His went whoop. <laughs> you know, I'll give it to you, Jake. I'll give it to you. Woo! I'll take $10. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're what welcome. do I get? Data. <laughs> Good point, <laughs> good point. It's some good data too. Yeah. What's next? Well, I guess we're done. All right. All right, let's call this a- Call it a day. Yeah. You wanna go right. get a beer? Yeah, I'll okay. get a beer. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, be... we'll see you next week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is the easiest video. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. I wish you did this every week. Yeah. Just one hit and yeah. done. One and done. I think he's okay. Yeah, no, he's fine. Yeah. Cool. He always recovers. Hey, I'm sorry we made you do that right off the bat. It's fine. Uh, you guys were right. I got a lot of data. Let's uh, show the data to the camera here. As you can see, uh, I'll be honest. It's indisputable. These things are extremely effective, but there is more testing that needs to be done. I figure we should see how they do against someone that has clothes on because not everyone's rocking some sweet pair of jorts, right? So Mark, how about you hit me in the back? First with the small one, then we'll do the, the big one. 
Uh, and we'll see if you can penetrate my uh, safety vest here. It'll be very safe if you penetrate it. Well, what if it's just that effective? So, Mark, He's I doing. believe in you. Swing hard. Right. Okay. Ah! Ah, I take it back. We should lower the power. <laughs> we should lower the power. That was right in my spine. <laughs> yeah. It's probably fine. Oh, no. <laughs> what, what's wrong? Oh, just two little spots. That's pretty, that, that best does definitely help. Yeah. That's, that's what I was trying to prove. Yeah, who would have thought? The big whip? Sure. Can you give me my hard hat? Oh yeah, safety first. I'm glad we're enjoying this beautiful Sunday doing this. Better than what I was gonna do. How about you? Any other Sunday plans? Th this was it. Oh. This was this was it. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a great time too, guys. Good. All right. Turn around. Glad we're all having a great yeah, time. Just, uh, <laughs> Waiting on you. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> that wasn't as bad. Did you lower your power a little bit for that? Mm, I don't think so. Felt like it was the same. Give me one more, a little bit more power. Maybe go a little bit higher up on my back. Just don't hit me in the neck, you know. Maybe go like this a little bit. Oh, you want me back. to? There you go. Throw yeah. it back a little bit. Yeah, throw it back a little. Throw bit. it back a little. Ah! God! Ah! Oops. In my arm too. Oops. <laughs> so is your good arm? Yeah. 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 Wait, they're both good arms. Mm. Just one is. No, no, forget it. All right, the, the vested attack, uh, or the clothed attack has been performed. Let's inspect. Check out that data. What do we think? I got hit in the arm here, the right arm, as yeah. you can see. Mm -hmm. The back kind of looks like we've put some initials on there. Is there any blood? Yeah, oh yeah, a little bit. So it penetrated the, the safety of the vest? The, the vest failed. Okay. Okay, but this is important because it proves the barbed wire whip is effective against people with clothes. What about sweaters? I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's test this sweater out, eh? Christmas came early. <laughs> You're damn right it did. Mark wanted to know if it can penetrate a sweater, so I put on my best sweater. Opposed to hitting in the back, how about we hit me in the stomach. Deal. <clears throat> ah. Rock hard. Ah. The sweater's pretty effective. But to be sure. <laughs> I swear to God, Mark. <laughs> you got safety glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> what do I cover? <laughs> Everything. Ah! His arm. No, we broke it again. We didn't think of that one through. Let's check out the data. Oh, not the good arm, your bad arm. Well, you, you, to be fair, you hit it higher up, it broke lower down, so this is inconsequential. Huh. Uh, uh, wait. How'd you get three marks? That's the first, put, 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 first oh. one. On the, oh, is this, okay. this is the other one? Yeah, yeah the second. The second one was a way better hit, I'll give you that much. Uh, Sweaters. Useless. <laughs> well, let's beat the shit out of one of my arms. Nice forearms. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. I've been working them out extensively. Mm, why? Dishes. Uh, really be, heavy dishes. Really. Be a frisbee. <laughs> nope. I throw those dis dishes right into the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, let's hit my forearm. Okay. Small barbed wire whip. Right forearm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Question. Hmm. Your forearms are impervious. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, questionable results. But you know what's not questionable? The sponsor of this video. <laughs> Airgun Depot. Depot. It's Depot. 
We yeah. went over this. Yeah, Air Gun out. Depot. For those of you that don't know, Air Gun Depot is one of the largest volume dealers for air guns, airsoft, paintball, blank guns, crossbows, and shooting accessories in the US. And as a small company, they are able to provide the type of personalized service, selection, and low prices you deserve. Air Gun Depot is also a vast resource for product reviews, industry information, video reviews, and articles pertaining to the shooting sports industry. They also put together the Houston Jones approved M1A1 BB rifle combo, which comes with the coolest BB gun I've ever had the pleasure of shooting, and not one, but two safety glasses, because everyone knows I'm all about safety. So help support the channel by clicking the link down in the description below to pick up some awesome products from Air Gun Depot. This is getting gnarly. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> yeah, honestly, in terms of just pure blood, Jake definitely won that bet. Man. It was hard to say which one hurt worse since I got hit at the same time, yeah. but good lord. It's a good thing I clot quickly, right? That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't I don't bleed out on these experiments because oh. my blood is so viscous. You got lots of platelets. Yeah, a lot of iron. Mm -hmm. Iron Man. And to prove that, Mark, you hit me with that one, the same spot. Get, get, get that out of the way. It looks like this. What? No. What? What? No. Yeah. no th th this is reckless, Mark. <laughs> this is reckless. I feel like I get more surface. Okay, a slight area. angle, a slight angle, but not too hefty of an angle. Ah, that hurt way worse. That hurt. Ooh. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, we got a little cut there, a little slice. I would say this is something I'm noticing a trend. This barbed whip has a lot more weight behind it, which I guess in hindsight makes sense because there's a lot more barbed wire. Genius. Inertia. Say another science word real quick. Uh, viscous. Galileo. Uh, <laughs> just, just cut, just cut, just cut. So I think we have proven the barbed wire whip to be an effective self-defense tool. But before we finish here, I want to wrap up with some scenario-based testing. So imagine this. Are you good? Uh, <laughs> there's a, there's a, uh, a local gang of kids that ride bikes with barbed wire whips and they're coming to hit you. Uh, what would happen? Are you okay? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I don't think you've been okay for a long time. I'm kind of concerned. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's hit me. <laughs> really hope those kids don't come around again. They're nuisances. Kids? Wait, is there another one? Ah! You kids! You're on my lawn, you know that. Ah! Well, how do you feel, Mark? How did it feel wielding one of these bad boys? Exhausting. The tires are flat. I, di I didn't mean how was it biking. I meant how was it swinging the barbed whip. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, pretty, pretty good self-defense weapon, wouldn't you say? Especially on a bike. Yeah, you get more momentum. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, as a person getting hit, I think this is wildly effective for something that, you know, was made in an hour. Pretty dang good. But to prove that, check out this damage. All right, so these were some pretty close to full power hits here. The data is immaculate. Glorious data here, more data. All right, take a look at the back. There are some fresh hits back there. What is back there though? Lots of scarring and bleeding and a small bug and entering its way into your wound. Yeah, that is concerning. I gave the bug consent, so don't worry about it. Uh, moving on, uh, I have some data on the forearm. Okay, and I believe that was through a sweatshirt, impressive. Uh, other forearm. Ooh, look at that elbow. Got some elbow juice there. And then we got some light amount of data on my stomach. Tummy touches. Nothing significant. Ultimately though, I'm impressed. But before I give my final conclusions, let's see how everything looks two days from now. Think I should hit you for once? Next week. <laughs> <laughs>
Next week. <laughs> next week. I said next week. Now that it's been two days, I can confidently say, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have made history. Thanks to your comments and my undiagnosed clinical insanity, we have stumbled upon perhaps the greatest self-defense tool in the history of mankind. Don't believe me? Just check out the data. There is bruising on my right leg, even worse bruising on my left leg, significant bruising on my left forearm, more bruising on my right tricep, and then tons of cuts and scrapes all over my body where this whip hit me. I have tested out plenty of self-defense tools, and this is definitely one of the most effective ones I've ever tested. And to that, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for suggesting this idea down in the comments. I couldn't have made this landmark discovery in self-defense tool technology without all of you. So please keep leaving some ideas down in the comments below and I'll probably do them eventually. And to the people who are probably still commenting that my arm is looking small and that I need to get back in the gym, all I have to say to you is just you wait, just you wait in two weeks when I can get back in the gym and start lifting heavy again. My arm will be massive. It'll be so big, you won't even be able to comprehend it. It'll be bigger than your future. I'm sorry about that, that last part. I'm sure you got big things happening in the future. And, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it. I just got a little worked up.